Hello everyone, uh, I'm glad to see you here. My name is Sergei Spansov and I'm a member of our team. And I'm going to present for you today take a revision control feature. So, general purpose of revision control is uh, the safe progress of your work. So you can work on the same drawing and have whole history of your progress. Then you can start to work from many of these safety states. Uh, you can develop uh, the same drawing in a parallel, uh, work or collaborate with, so I mean like uh, some two engineers can be uh, really can be placed in different positions, like in different parts of the world, and work on the same drawing at the same time. And uh, if you have a revision control inside the drawing, uh, you don't need the external revision control. So, uh, our revision control uh, was inspired with the G. It's very well known. I believe like a lot of you are pretty familiar family with this one. Uh, but anyway, I just uh, wanted to say about the workflow uh, for a G. Um, up, up, it's applicable for our model too. Um, we always have initial version in the beginning, and we can suppose engineer A can uh, create the branch and make all drawings there. Like uh, here, for example, you can draw line one, make commit, so it means like uh, save the state of his work. work. Then draw line two and then merge it into the master branch. But engineer B at this moment also can work on like creating surplus in his part. And he used the same drawing and he created branch. And on this branch he draw several surplus, uh, commit these changes, and also he merged it. And at the end, uh, latest version of the master branch will have n circles and line from the both engineers. Uh, let's talk about version keeping mechanism. So, versions are keeping in the same file where the drawing information exists. And we have some SHA number, SHA number, and it's 20 bytes long number, uh, which represents the version. Um, also, it contains some global data, which exactly is a snapshot of the data. Which, were, uh, which was changed. Um, so here you can see kind of a table, um, version seven like this linearly. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about the uh, kind of structure. It has map uh, of the handle <coughs> object, uh, map it to the SHA. It has changed database with all this uh, graphical primitive. Uh, which was changed between the regions. It also contains some meta information about after it can have a short description of what was done at this region and it also can have a uh, text span. It's kind of important also. And each division of course has uh, parents so you can trace changes and there is like a, a history tree and you can but based on these parents, you can uh, trace through the tree and choose any version which you need. Um, there is small representation, like small screenshots I provided for you. Later I will show a demo uh, with this file. So here you can see some line with the circles. It's representing all the main branch. And later, after this, it has some description of the comments and after distribution the after and time step. All this version is in the bottom part and on the top part we have always a newest version of the drawing. So highlighted with blue it's currently choose, chosen version and which you can see like on the screen. Also it's possible to do multi-user editing. So we have ability to create the branches from master branch, as I mentioned before, 
and you can create unlimited amount of branch and create some details there and then merge them in a, some like main branch and you can see result of the work and so the progress also independently it has a big opportunity to make like a nice scenario for multi-user editing for collaborative form yeah, here I want to say about the distributed work. Uh, let's assume we have a remote uh, database with a drawing somewhere on the server and engineer A closes database and makes some changes and we have a some special API which can create a page. Page is exactly will be changed between two revisions and sends this page back to the remote database and there is another API which can be applied for the API and if you become a binary data and you will have some new revision in the remote uh, database and then engineer B also can clone this database, make some changes with the same API, send these changes to the remote server and this is uh, changes will be applied there. Uh, at the end, you will have united version of the both engineers in the remote database. Also, it's possible we can have some conflicts. Yeah, like here on this slide, you can see we have some initial version of the drawing, and if we draw like one circle with radius 30, and then it was created two branches from this revision. And one man changed it to 15, and another changed it to 45. Then, when you try to merge it, uh, we have also special API which show uh, conflicted entities on the drawing, and so you can choose like uh, apply my changes or their changes. And there is some also uh, manual mode, but it's still under development, so you can choose like uh, some particular <coughs> entities. There is some small code snippet uh, which I prepared for you, which shows like uh, how you can create uh, uh, two different databases and check out some branches there and then merge it into the one again. So, with the blue, I highlighted the code related to the newest API. Uh, we pass here like uh, uh, our Tiga storage and there is phost app, it's kind of special entity to read database. Then we create a branch like JSME and in another version we create a branch like Jiro master from master branch. Then uh, we, we, we have a handles here and of the database one and two. So then we try to create a circle and then we do some comment. Comment message like it's uh, after and then description what was done. Then we have some array for a conflict. So when we do merge, it's not actually a uh, comment message, but it looks like uh, it makes some checking and unite to draw it. And after this, we need to call comment again uh, what was done. And at this time, it was a merge with the master. Um, you can use timestamp, timestamp, it's a kind of default value in the site, but you can use any other value like which you want to pass there. And also regarding like uh, uh, work from second engineer, uh, he also like create line and call the same code, uh, I mean the same idea, like comment message and also who created these changes, what was done, then uh, prepare like merge, and merge will return some conflict if they exist, and after this we create some additional commit uh, to apply these changes after merging to the database, and we will have united version at the end. Here I want to start and show demo <coughs> of the presentation, so I already opened the file and here you can see 
window of revision control. Uh, there is our track, and you can see branches here. It's uh, highlighted with different colors. So there is a revision, and as I said, like all this in, in the bottom part, here is in the top part. So then we can see after of these revisions. Oh yeah, I skipped like here. We can see first of all description what was done. And there is also timestamps. So let's choose someone like uh, one of the first revision, like uh, care was said it only here, so we click it. So it's uh, highlighted this dark blue. We can see it. So after some work, some different guys made some comments there. And at some moment, we added spoiler for tens to this, and we can watch exactly what was changed. So for this, we just go there and see properties. So there is like some defined object, and we also can compare with the previous version of the drawing what was changed, like uh, in a visual way when we press this button. So here we see only the difference. So spoiler, we see like some lights and. Them. But if we remove this as check, so it shows like what exists on this drawing. And so there is a slide with active in the middle, it's showing like a post version, uh, all the uh, new one. And if we move it to the left side, it shows only all the green one again. And if we move it to the right, it shows us only spoiler and new part which were added to this drawing. So let's choose another revision, which was created a little bit later. And for example, this one, it was uh, rear tires was rated at this revision. So we can see, and we can compare also with any another revision. Let's like highlight this one. We still have more options here, so we still can open, we can see properties, and we can compare. So let's compare what was done. Like. So here we can see again only tires for the back part of the truck that were ready. And <coughs> we also can compare it with the whole track, like uh, also the same. In the left we see whole drawing, and in the right part, in the right side we can see only used uh, details which were added to the drawing. And let's talk about a little bit more interesting part. Branches. So here we just created branches. Each branch has a name. So here we can see all these branches like name. We have a fork. So it's master and see three another one. There is four colors. <laughs> and here you can do some work really independently. For example, here we added some uh, chases like uh, on an orange branch. Yeah, and uh, here we created that uh, free. Yeah, and we merged it here. And later we merge also our chases. So you see, like there is free, but there is no chases. So later we can unite it with the merge. So we merge both of them, and now we can see there is a chases. And there is a frame of both of them. And after this, we can like uh, create like there is another some changes and work on it. Um, maybe like create that review here. Um, see, you can do your job quite independently. Mm, let's create one comment here. So let's do some changes probably. Let's and uh, also okay. Let's move it here. So let's move it uh, our ten like partially. Then we can call like uh, but we, we can press commit button. Then we can make some description. So we see there is a sudden revision. So I switch it to the back. Now we have a new revision. 
we can compare what exactly was done between these regions. Uh, well, we can see what the difference on this. So object was moving. We will see this in picture. It's obvious that like uh, in all places it was in this position. And I think it was in another position, and we can see it related to the whole model. Like that, like this. Here, I want to start talking about my branch card presentation and let's talk about the uh, collaborative work. So, let me go here. So, for this, I just opened two another Tiga Viewer. Tiga Viewer. Um, let's see. I want to create some also changes in one drawing. It's first of all I wanted to say like I loaded the same drawing like in two different like two applications. Um, what you can expect if you do some changes and make some comment like in one drawing we can have these changes in another drawing. Let's create commit. So, okay. So we can see new comment here. Uh, well, this is those changes from this. Here we just press the first button, and we have the same comment here now. Uh, if we just uh, select it, we also see move it back. So that's how it can be like operate for that uh, in different application. Here it's a local like this, but you can do it like through the server like different versions. That's all what I want to say, but if you have any questions, you can ask me. Yeah? In this patch uh, generation that you are talking about, will it be used to compare just two uh, drawings that will not use the revision or system? It's been your opinion. Could this uh, patch API that you're talking about, could it also be used to compare two drawings that do not use this revision system yet? Uh, you can use technically this patch API to apply another drawing. Uh, um, you will add this is database to the sub drawing which is uh, remotely. Uh, but about comparing, yeah, technically you can uh, take database from this and use it for comparison. Uh, yeah. But anyway, main purpose is like purpose of this API, like it's to make changes uh, in some remote database, for example, like a play patch and create that. Hi. Um, Hi. So I think what you show is works great as a principle. I think we've used it all for text and for Git or for the code we do. How much does this deal with the weirdness of the RPG, right? There's a lot of things that are in effect, if you just store modified operations and add a new operation, right? With sort of tables, you look at, you know, all the things we currently do with special cases and unknown handling. So how much does it deal with the strangeness that the RPG introduces in this? Um, some strange, so it's quite a difficult question about strange thing. Uh, I mean, strange thing. So is it just you used to add, remove, and modify, or do you look at special cases as well? What, what, what kind of special cases? What kind of special cases? Uh, I mean that, uh, for example, uh, for us it doesn't matter what is changing in the DWG database. Any changes are stored in the, uh, in the uh, special storage, separate storage. So in the, uh, it's additional. I would say, yeah, as you see in the code snippet, uh, all uh, data is loaded from the special storage to GP database. It means the kernel is GPG kernel, and as a result, it can be stored to DWG. So the same when we make some changes in DWG and make comment uh, from our point of view, there is no matter, for example, of what you change, uh, for example, in application, we simply 
uh, look through the database and all the changes that we have in the database we add to the new revision and after that we uh, are able to, <coughs> to take snapshot snapshot based on, on that revision so certainly if you have some additional information to this one yeah you can add to this yeah, yeah is there is ability to add your additional information and to get this and to get it but you need to implement something uh, to, to read this uh, to write. Uh, it was that exactly a question of <laughs> almost. Example, right? You add a new entity, right? That modified. You have the operation of adding an entity, but you obviously also have a change in the work table record, right? And the entity connection. And so it's not enough to just say we add an entity, right? We also need to know the container was added to. It. <coughs> so how are you dealing with these scenarios? Because it doesn't make sense to just also just say the work table record is not. Yeah, but uh, we have handle map in the TWG file and we have a list of modified objects in the TWG and therefore we simply put all modified stuff when we commit. So, so it's a snapshot. I would say it, uh, it maybe It just only changes between two revisions. Yeah, it, any kind of changes like it's a graphic or like visible or something so, else was changed, you can save it. So you are right if uh, we change the line, but there are also connected uh, elements of connected records, entities, and so on, uh, which were changed based on the reactors. Yes, they were also put, really put in the storage as a part of this community because we don't consider that, uh, that something is, uh, for example, we are not relying on the things that, for example, I would like to put on this line because we will, uh, won't be able to restore this line uh, after that, it's impossible. We, we only are able to, to commit and uh, get back on the full state of the uh, database, uh, real database, valid database. Is it okay? Thank you. Um, kind of adding to that, for example, a scenario comes to my mind is suppose we have an extract and we change the raster image uh, without changing the actual GFG file. So, would that uh, consider as a change in this revision control? If it's, it was changed, not in a DWG file, I think it's, it's, it's out of our control. Right. And, and then, yeah. The thing is that uh, certainly if uh, there is, for example, the, as, you, as you mentioned, uh, a raster image which is placed together with the DWG file, and so we, uh, at the moment in this implementation, we put only uh, changes to revision control if, if uh, for example, pass to the raster image we change. But uh, if, there is, uh, if uh, there are no changes in database uh, itself, it uh, should be implemented on the, um, I would say, on the application level to put to the database raster image as well. But uh, the other thing which I would like to mention uh, as well is that uh, we implemented this API and when we try to make nice demo for all of you, we understand that the API is universal. You can put an raster image there and so on and so on and so on. But it's not so easy to yeah, to use it. Uh, in, it's to, really low level. Yeah, it's really low level. It uh, allows everything. So uh, as you mentioned, it's a set of regions where we have uh, the uh, hash and the some block data, and after that, those data uh, treated with uh, our our toolkit. So overall, at the moment, we start working on the next uh, level, simplified level, which provides more convenient work with branches and with cases you just mentioned. So it is just to be put some relations somewhere, but we are just working uh, on the uh, some usability to improve usability of this API. So at the moment, the answer yes, it's possible to do. It's possible to do, and uh, you can do this on your side. But uh, we continue working to provide usability of this toolkit, to improve usability of this toolkit. Just one more question. Yes. Uh, 
how do you configure this uh, I mean, this remote storage of uh, it, it, it can be like any storage, uh, remote storage, when you say DWG file, but you need to create definitely some application which can track like some connection and patch was sent, like maybe create own protocol there to exchange this information and probably there will be some trigger like you need to close this API because data exists some network message, it's exactly patched from some engineer, so it's responsible of developer that. We just provide an idea for this. Thank you. Some additional questions to the previous one. Yeah. Uh, do you need uh, some single <coughs> server, single application which merges the patches? Or you can do it on every of collaborators' applications? Uh, if you consider like some uh, remote storage is kind of like centralized storage, right? Um, even if you need to clone or apply some patches there, you need to write some application on the server side. And to send some signals like from a client, you also need to play, write a like, client application. And we provide that guy. Um, there is two ideas regarding this create page and uh, like I said, and apply page. So just it depends like from your logic, from the logic of your application that you need to do it and how you deliver it into the remote server or client. Okay. So um, so okay maybe I I ask some additional questions later. Uh, what about the uh, real time? Collaboration. Have you tried it? Real-time collaboration? Yeah, it's collaboration. Like, yeah. like uh, I, you own the, some location and I'm in another location. If you change something, like I see it in the real time. Yes, like in Google Docs, for example. Yeah. It's technically it's possible if you do some frequent refresh, you know, but there is kind of this level right now. But we also think about this. Thanks. So, question from my side. If I understand correctly, you need some kind of backend for this solution to work. And on the other side, you said that it is based on Git, the whole idea of Git. Yeah. So, this also is in Git that you have your local copy of repository and then synchronize this basically with remote version or is this single? So, just remote Yeah, version? technically, you create a claw of the database, you make some changes there locally, and then uh, call this IP, which I already mentioned, calls like create page. And it creates page between some revision, some set of revisions, like between two revisions. And then if you wanna, this job will be applied on some remote server, you just need somehow deliver it there, so for its own, own your protocol. So, and after that, you need to call on the server side the guy like apply page. And then you can do it. Maybe set some notification and other like uh, engineer. Or, I, I don't know. Like uh, in a git, git, I mean, like uh, when you need to um, stay class. Yeah, you need to pull uh, this version. So we don't provide exactly pull mechanism. How you will talk over network? It's a decision of some particular application. We provide API which can apply pass exactly like when data came already on the server or local client. And is there any difference in case of Tiga Cloud? Is it the same system? Uh, we using we using like we have separate representation for yeah. the yeah. Tiga Cloud. Do you think? Yeah, it's Google Edge. First of all, very nice feature. Great. Thank you. Just one question: Could this be used for, let's say? Project documentation or planning documentation. So I'm talking about long, long-lasting transactions, not short transactions like you showed us, but really long-lasting transactions. Saying I'm starting a branch now and I'm working on my plan or project like for half a year, and only then I want to to merge back. But what I really want to to go at is.